my guests at this time are two very uh, large men. Uh, it is the bouncers, Brian and uh, Bruiser. Hi, thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat with me here today. Thank you. Uh, I'm not drinking beer, ironically. I'm drinking Canadian coffee. Oh, is it good? It's coffee. Oh, okay, cool. All right, and Bruiser, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm about six in, so. Okay. Yeah, getting ready. Do you ever worry about drinking too much before you wrestle? Doing what? Drink, drinking, like, maybe to the point of getting intoxicated? Do you ever ask a bodybuilder if he drinks too much pre-workout? No, you don't. Oh. So why ask me that? It's my pre-workout. Oh, okay. I'm just wondering, you know. Oh. Uh, hey, I also I got some heat on Twitter because I was talking about uh, tobacco use in pro wrestling. Like, oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you chomp on cigars, right? You have, like, your own cigar yeah, line. My own cigar line, yeah. Martinez Cigars, Beer City Bruiser Cigar Line. They're amazing. Yeah. Top of the line. Go to the website. Get them. Okay. Does that ever affect your cardio? Putting no, just look at me. <laughs> just wondering. Monster in the ring. <laughs> just, I was just wondering. No. Uh, all right. Well, Brian, uh, tell me, how did how did you and how did you and the the Bruiser here? How did you guys come to be a tag team? Well, I think the funny thing is, people saw us fight each other and said, "Hey, those guys make a hell of a team." And uh, you know, we became pretty fast friends. I think we're both like-minded individuals, and we like to drink a lot. Yeah. So. Oh. The best yeah. thing about it was after we fought each other, we went to the bar oh. to ice our wounds with ice cold beer. Oh, yeah. I, we've had some drinks over the years. Oh, we've had plenty of drinks. Yeah, oh, we yeah. have, yeah. So uh, you, got, you said that uh, you know during the show you might come over and drink with the fans, right? Oh, yeah, we're planning on it. Yeah, we're going to do uh, – we like to do a toast of honor, and since this is the big super card summer meltdown, whatever, we're going to – Summer super card. Summer super card. Okay. <laughs> We're definitely going to be drinking with the people in Toronto. It's his first time. So. You've never been here. I've never been to Toronto before, so pretty excited to, uh, to finally, finally make it. Now, you guys had a very interesting moment, uh, 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 the MSG New York weekend with Ring of Honor, Festival of Honor, yes. I'm thinking about, because you guys, uh, you lost a beer cup challenge? He lost. Oh. Uh, beer pong. Oh, beer pong. Okay. So, yeah, so, Brian, this is your fault. I'll put it on you. Uh, what was your experience like having to dress up like the boys and, like, pamper Dalton Castle on stage? Yeah, it felt right almost. You know, it felt – oh, you didn't like it? I No, man. Like, the reason I did it is because, you know, you lose a bet. You, you get a man up and – do what you lost mm -hmm. and we lost so we had to dress up i didn't know you enjoyed it i, did. I mean Dalton castle's a handsome man like you know but hey you know I, not something i'd want to do all the time but you know that's where i was going with this is like i was talking with dalton earlier and like he said the boys got shipped back to boy island or wherever that is i don't really know what that is like i mean you seem to enjoy it more than a bruiser i mean would you be down to like maybe you know second and third him in that in that role now you know i, I don't know he's a little embroiled with uh Roosh and we kind of like Roosh, so. Yeah, we like Roosh a lot. He drinks a lot of cervezas with us. Okay. And, and we're, you know, I need you for the kingdom thing, man. We're dealing with the kingdom right now. All right. I won't go to Boy Island then. All right. okay. Cool. All right. Uh, uh, Matt, I want to ask you now. I've known you for a long time now. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Was one of your mentors or trainers Harley Race? Is that correct? That's absolutely right. I uh, trained at the Harley Race Wrestling Academy. Yeah. 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 And he, uh, I was there every day. Like, the whole, I was there for six years and almost every day in his office, so. See, talk, talk to me a little bit about, like, your memories of Harley. Obviously, right now, the wrestling world is, is dealing with that loss, and I'd just like to hear from you, you know, what, were, what was your time like with Harley? Harley was uh, amazing. He was a mentor to all of us. He was uh, sometimes a father figure to us. Um, there was a time when I couldn't afford my electric bill. He paid it for me. Really? He never asked for anything in return. You know, he's, he, he understood what it was to be one of the boys, and, and he'd go out, and he was a gracious man. Um, I remember going out drinking with Harley and, 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 you know, trying to buy the beers and stuff, and he'd, no, oh, kid, I'm, I'll take care of it. And he'd make sure that we never had to spend money or anything like that. Like, he took care of us, you know. And, and when you hear the obituaries and stuff mentioned as wrestling kids, that's what he used to call us. We were like his kids to him. And, and, and he, he, like I said, he was a father figure, a mentor, and, and a legend. He'll live on forever. That's hot. Dude, thanks for, thanks for sharing that. That's something I'd actually been looking forward to asking you about on camera because I knew you guys were very close. Yeah, uh, i got a million Harley stories. I mean, Harley was, was the best. I mean, uh, Do you want to share, like, one? I mean, I don't know. Are you interested in this? Yeah, Do you want to hear? Yeah, I was about, I was about, we're both sitting here like, I don't know, like, what's, what's a Harley race story you want to share with us? Uh, there was one time where um, we were at a bar in Eldon, and uh, Terry Funk was in town. And uh, so we were drinking... In Missouri, they don't sell Sir Miller Lights, so I was drinking Coors Lakes. Terry Funk was. And Harley and us were, three of us were kind of getting tipsy. So BJ Harley's widow had uh, him and Terry Funk's wife, they'd left. Okay. So Harley goes, well, now we can turn it up. 
So we were starting to get really drunk. Well, then Harley pulls the darts for the dartboard and sets them on our table and challenges Terry, because they had like an upper deck, to see who could hit the most people with the darts. <laughs> so the three of us just started throwing darts at the people up on top, and any time it hit somebody, we just start talking again. And, and it was just an amazing time. <laughs> I, guess, I remember that, I always remember, and, and I remember drinking Coors Light the whole, from that moment on until I left Missouri until a good year after I got into Wisconsin. Wow. Just because of that memory. Dude, that's awesome. That's also terrifying. That that's, that's like I always like I hear like pro wrestling ribs and stuff, and it's like that's not a rib. You're just all very mean people, like doing terrible things to one another. Well, the best is when people would look and see it's Harley. They don't care because you know that was Harley. He was such a good guy. They'd laugh it off, and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, we're throwing darts at people, and they're laughing about it. <laughs> yeah, Brian, hey, do you have any good rib? Any good ribs or crazy road stories here? You want? Oh, okay, yeah. You you and Triple H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The two of us. Uh, <laughs> Those are the only two. Uh, <laughs> our careers, you know, slightly varying degrees of success, you know. You'd look good on a bike, like as a motorcycle rider, you I know? I think so. I need, like, the, what's the type of hat he used to wear back in the Attitude Era. Maybe I'll start wearing one of those, you know. The Kanga, right, or whatever they. Yeah, whatever it is, I don't know. Kind of looks stupid, but <laughs> you know, whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's funny. I've only ever been to Canada one other time, and it was with Kowalski. Okay. It was Kowalski, um, his wife, and then the other, the fourth was Ivar, who I know, you know, Hanson of uh, the of War Machine, and Ivar, who is now Ivar of the of the War Raiders or the Viking Raiders, excuse me. But uh, yeah, the four the four of us drove up to uh, to this show and. Uh, <laughs> the promoter kind of, you know, lost his lost his shirt on the show. Mysteriously, the cash box disappeared, and uh, yeah, so not many people got paid. Uh, PCO was actually it was the first time I ever met PCO was was on this show, and uh, I was on um, I was on a show with PCO about a year ago, Chikara, and and that was my end to open up a conversation <laughs> with PCO of like, hey, do you remember this show? Yeah, we met there, so. But yeah, that was my only other trip. So hopefully, uh, I think you're gonna get paid tonight. Yeah, ho hopefully the ca <laughs> hopefully the cash box doesn't get lost tonight, like the last time I was here. Well, if the if the if the cash box does go missing, I mean, I think I know two big guys that might oh. be able to <laughs> track it down. Right? Well, we'll find it definitely. Oh god, yeah. Uh, well, I guess I'll you know wrap it up here. Let's talk about what you guys are doing in Ring of Honor right now. You know, like you said, you're feuding with the the Kingdom. We're trying to stave them off, I should say, at the moment. You know, what what are your guys' goals here uh, at the moment? I'll start with you, Bruiser. Definitely tag team gold. Um, We've wrestled the Briscoes now. Uh, we were in Lowell, Massachusetts, and had a hell of a match with them for the tag team titles. Um, that's definitely number one on our, our, our list. Like, the Kingdom, they're mad because we like to have fun and drink, and, you know, but wrestling's fun. But they found out, or are going to find out the hard way that, you know, you hit us with chairs and you put a cigar out of my chest, it kind of pisses us off. Yeah, that's, that's just a really yeah. shitty thing to do, I'll just say that. Yeah, and you don't want to piss off a drunk guy. I mean, you know, you're at a bar, you see people drinking, it's like, oh, that guy I'm not going to make mad. We're those guys, and they kind of made us mad. Yeah. So once we finish with them, definitely tag team gold is... You concur? You concur? Yeah, I think obviously, you know, we want to be the world tag team champions, but I think I think on a, you know, I think on a larger scale, it's, it's to change perception of... Uh, you know, we don't look like the type of guys that have traditionally uh, done big things in Ring of Honor. You know what I mean? It, this has been a company where, uh, I mean, just look at the names that have come through. But there's not hasn't been too many guys that that are our size, our build, or or that can move like us. So I think for us to um, just to leave a mark on this company and to uh, when you look at you know the the measuring stick is the is the Briscoes and um, you know I, I'm not gonna say I want to be the 11 time tag team champions because that means we gotta lose them 10 <laughs> times to get there but uh, you know when when it's all said and done for the bouncers you know you know, way down the line I'd like to be remembered as you know one of the greatest tag teams that Ring of Honor's ever seen that's true you guys really did break the mold it's like it's usually a, a very uh, athletic trim man <laughs> right that's running the show here and like I'm I'm six feet. 200 pounds, and look at me right now in this screen, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, anything you want to plug, promote, put over here before we wrap it up? Uh, go to ROHwrestling.com, the shop. Click on the Bouncers tab. You can buy our cool shirts. I have my new cool shirt, the Beer City Bruiser, I Can't Bite. I Ain't Got No Teeth. Uh, ProWrestlingTees.com slash Beer City Bruiser or slash Brian Malonis, and you can pick up a bunch of shirts there too. Martinez Cigars, mm -hmm. go uh, click on the, it's www.martinezcigars and just click on the Beer City Bruiser Cigar and pick them up. 
Brian? Yeah, cool. I mean, Bruiser said it all, but I'll also plug that uh, every Monday you can you can hear me and my co-host Mike Crockett on uh, the wrestling podcast about nothing. Uh, we talk about all things wrestling. We try to add our spin of two guys who have uh, been around the wrestling business a long time. You can hear a lot of a lot of these road stories and things like this from the Ring of Honor weekend. So that's every single Monday. A uh, new, a new uh, episode comes out. Or all the places you can find podcasts and the WPAN.com.